Hello and welcome to another review from S'more RV Fun. Today we're going to be reviewing the RV Lock keyless handle from RV Lock. We're going to be showing unboxing, installation of this, and kind of talking through why we went through with this. Um, getting an RV Lock that's keyless is something you should think about, especially if you're sick of carrying your keys around. You just be able to punch in a code and get in and out. Um, that's ideal for us. So we wanted to get this on one of the doors. We have two doors are on a camper. Um, but this made the most sense to go through our main door. The other one's on the bathroom. So we're getting one of these for the main door to come in and out. Hopefully it creates that ease of use of going in and out of the camper. And we've also lost our keys at a campground before. So kind of takes that out of the equation as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this and then we'll do the installation. Uh, it should only take 15 minutes, they say. So we'll see. Even though I'm making a video, it'll probably take a little bit longer. But I'm excited to uh, get this product going. I do have to say the packaging... It's quite stunning. So kudos to the design team on this. You see that um, they really took some considerations when putting this together. I really like the way the boxing looks, uh, even though that's probably the least relevant thing we want to talk about. So we're going to go ahead and open the box here inside. It has all the features listed here. Um, and then we go inside and there's a little details book again. Nice design overall. I really like that. Uh, inside we got our user manual. So this is going to show us exactly what we have to do steps wise. Remove the old handle, install the new one in, um, program, program your remote. That's pretty much it. If you want, it has all kind of different little information there about um, how many remotes you can put in and all that. And there's also a whole list of videos you could get help with if you go to help.rvlock.com. And then on the back, there's a QR code you could scan um, all of their support. So that's in the envelope. Anything else in there? Oh, we got a little RV lock. Looks like we got a warranty activation and tutorial. That's also cool. I like to see that, um, that you have a warranty on these things. So that's great. Go ahead and put those to the side. Inside here also we got two stickers, little protection. Protected by RV lock. That's good. Throw that on if you'd like. And then here is our actual lock. So it's got good weight to it. I like that already. Uh, it's definitely very firm. See here on the back, we got some screws and different things. We got our plug. Um, all looking good there. So it's got a nice build to it. I can tell you that much right now. There's another little box in here with accessories. This is going to be our two keys that we have in there. It's also going to have our key fobs. There's two of those in. And then we also got our striker uh, replacement. If we need to put that into our door jam there, I'm going to go ahead and keep all of those in the box so I don't lose them. And then the last piece here is the bottom half or the outside or the inside part. So this is the inside of the door. You can see that it's got your little lock on there and your connection. So we see where the screws got to go. So we're going to go ahead, got everything unboxed there. We're going to go ahead and uh, start to get this installed. It does come with four AA batteries already pre-installed. There's just a little plastic tab that you have to pull here on the right. Um, but what's nice about this too is the screws are accessible from inside the camper once you have it installed. So you don't have to worry about taking the whole thing apart. Just pull two screws, good to go. All right, so the first thing I got to do here is I got to take off my existing lock. I got four screws to pull out. Uh, we're going to do the two here next to the deadbolt, not on the back side there. So we're going to go ahead and just unscrew these four, take them out. Now, once you have everything off, you're gonna go ahead and put in the outside part of the lock-in first. Now, for some people, there's gonna be some paint that shows. It depends on the RV, what your lock looked like, but they do actually make a decal sticker that can go beyond this. You could buy it uh, and it fits right behind the cover up, maybe any paint blemishes that are showing or anything like that. So that's a nice feature as well. Once you get that on, you're gonna go ahead and put on the little striker plate. Uh, it fits right in there. Just get your screws in. And then on the back side, you're just going to connect the wiring harness. It's an easy snap together. There it is. And then once you do that, it'll alert you that it is on. So now we're just going to go ahead and put in the screws. You have to kind of tuck in the wiring behind it. That's probably the most difficult part of this is just hiding that. You want to make sure it's not in any of the screw holes. Uh, and you're not kind of pinching it anywhere. So make sure you get that in good and everything is flush. And then you're ready to go ahead and start your four screws.
All right, so the program, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna program the key fob first and turn it on. Hit fob learn. Connect your remote. Remote connected. Go ahead and do the other one. Connect your remote. Press remote the lock. Connected. There we go. So to do the keypad part, we're gonna go ahead and hold down the code re reset button until it prompts us. Which is Enter new code, then press lock. You have 30 seconds now to put a new code in. Enter new code, then press lock. New code accepted. And then there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our code. And we'll hit the lock button. And you see the lock has been activated. We'll go ahead and put our code. Hit the unlock button. It's retracted. That is super easy. I'll tell you what, this RV lock installation now. That's not a symptom of the RV lock. That's a symptom of the door. This whole side of this side of the camper seems to be a little wonky. They do have a striker plate that they also included for the inside of the door jam, which I'm gonna to try to replace. I had this trouble with my last one. I was a little worried that this might not even work because of that pressure, but it still locks itself. It's still in there very tight, so that's good too. But I do have to make that little adjustment. Now, I know some of your campers do that. It gets a little wonky if you're not exactly level and even on both sides. But I can say the ease of installing this has been incredible. I'm excited to use it out on the campground, see how the kids do with it. Uh, especially since it's low enough that they could actually reach up and hit the programming buttons and unlock everything. But you also got the key fobs, which I'll probably just sit there all night and do this. Great little product. Now, if you like this, I have a code down below that you can use to get yourself a discount on this. If you buy from there, it helps us, it helps you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.